Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and today is uh, a studio update and we're going to cover Warhammer Fest that was this weekend. I'm a little bit slower than the rest, the everybody has already covered some of it. So we're going to start with the Warhammer Fest, it was in Manchester, it was a cosplay uh, announcements of uh, uh, new stuff, uh, tournaments, uh, gaming, Adam went for the Horus Heresy doubles event, which, as I noticed, he had a great time. Uh, uh, so let's start what was announced. So the first day was uh, Warhammer 40k. I think, yeah. Yeah, I think Warhammer 10th edition was announced. And as I predicted last time, we, uh, what what they did announce is we got you're going to they announced the starter set so in the starter set we will get uh, uh, terminator captain terminator librarian uh, terminators uh, some flamer squad the name i don't want to even say it we get the redemptor with the weapons only allowed out uh, is there anything else i think i forgot something Terminators, I said, Marines, I said, oh, the Stern, St Stern Guard, and these are all snap fit Marines, uh, and all look, well, they look like Marines, so they look cool, Mer Terminators, and everything, we already covered that, so I'll put pictures as I put here, <laughs> then they went with the Tyranids, and as I said in the trailer, we get the big, big brain bug, uh, with some brainy, smaller brain bugs beside it uh, we get thermagons we get thermagons for the shooting version like they have a symbiote on them uh, we get the screamer kill at carnifex which is huge and looks cool and we get some of those different like smaller thermagons brain gowns or neurogowns or that and you get uh, the Lictors, Van, blah, 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 whatever his name is. Uh, what did they announce still? So that's 40k. Uh, for Age of Sigmar, they did uh, say about 40k that every all the armies will get the indexes first, which is nice of you, so you can start playing. And then, by the end of the year, I think there's like four codexes that will come out. And then, each year, some codex or something new, so cool. Then Age of Sigmar, we got, what do we get on Age of Sigmar? I don't know, we don't know what we get. Oh, for Age of Sigmar, we got the Sigmar, announced the Sigmar Cavalry, which looks okay, a little bit too decorated for me, but they're not bad, cool, cool looking miniatures. Then they get, they announced the campaign that's going to happen, it's like, uh, Dawn bringers like crusade is happening in Age of Sigma, and they for each faction they will have a release. So for this first book or whatever, we uh, there is like a fire slayer character, uh, a Nurgle cavalry guy. It looks excellent. It's like reimagined the old model. And what else? There was one one more. No brain freeze. Was that dead? Oh, the ghoul one. Ghoul thing, something. Um, then we get the war cry. I think it's the last box from the uh, Gnarwood. And it's with the vampires, no, ghouls, and Stormcast. And they, they did announce for war cry next season, like there will be more introducing other factions to the game so more concentrate on that so each faction will get a new warband which is cool i love the warcry models the starter set is the same get trees and you get like a pyramid thing they say when you finish this this is the whole table practically of narwood which is cool always nice to have that uh what else did they announce kill team before underworlds did they pronounce anything in Underworlds? 
Oh yeah, they announced the ghost, ghost, ghostly things. It's look cool. No, they didn't announce anything else. I think. Uh, what else? So we got War Cry for Titanicus. Didn't do anything. Horus Heresy. They did announce the Catonia book, campaign book. Was the first one of probably many. Two characters, new ones. So one for uh, Sons of Horus and one for Imperial Fists. They did show uh, some of the pictures, artwork, and everything. So people are thinking that they probably do MK twos or threes at some point, like rescaled. You can hope. Uh, did they models wise? They did showcase what's planned to come out. So there's a dreadnought, so probably a Daredevil that will come out in plastic. We get uh, assault marines are planned to come out. And they did show the 3D, 3D model. There's other like books and shit like that, so looks fine. Which will be fun. I think uh, Vindicator they announced also soon, but at, at the end of the year or something like that. They also announced another Primark, so probably Siege of Terra one. Could be Jagger Taikan on a bike. There's a lot of things we can do now. Mm, what else did they announce? <laughs> they did sneak peek something on Warhammer community, like a uh, new scale coming in, so there's probably like epic, because the pictures match, somebody matched them with the old battle reports from Wild Dwarf, and it looked like epic. I don't know what else could it be. Apocalypse, I don't think they would announce like that, but uh, we don't know. Uh... Uh, oh, kill team. I'm definitely forgetting a lot of stuff that was announced. To be honest, I should have made a paper and remember everything. Uh, they did announce um, for kill team the like it's not an expansion. It's like campaign box something like that with the Inquisition that that, that are new war band. Which is cool they look cool they're like different models and uh, different styles of models like you would see on the like an inquisitory band uh you get like stangard is this stangard i think it's stangard no scions you get five scions uh, sisters of battle ten of these new inquisitor war band and then you get uh, chaos, the new chaos cult is the new Possess Chaos Cultists and the Coven itself, which is cool. Uh, I think it's that box and it's like a campaign to run with your friends. So that, and then I think they announced the new season that will uh, kill team that we'll see coming out. I think that's it. I hope. I, I, don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, I probably missed a bunch of stuff. Oh, Warhammer Old World. How could I miss that? <laughs> they didn't show too much of that, which is a shame. But they did show uh, a Bretonian character and a Camry character that's probably going to come out as four four rule models. They did say they're going to re uh, rebox the old sets, new models with each uh, faction that comes out. Uh, they did mention that everything has happened before the War of Chaos in the Old World, so I think Colleges of Magic weren't introduced to the Empire and everything, so probably will be a little bit different. Uh, what else? That's it. Uh, Hobby-wise, no, it covered all the news. Well, it's hobby-wise. Uh, hobby-wise, been doing bunch of things commissions done some assembling of mine i to be honest with all the commissions and work around the house have very little time to manage to record any videos actually i'm recording this before i went to go to work uh i did finish the raven guard which i showed you on the heresy study did i additionally finish some models which i forgot to record then adam decided not to take <laughs> that army and ask me to uh, do the world bearers Horus heresy part so I 
put them to a base level but in the end he couldn't because of work couldn't come uh, to pick the army up so he bo borrowed or bought an army for the Warhammer fest so I done the whole army so like eight almost eight eighty six up to a hundred models with uh, Spartan uh, rhinos then I printed for another client some uh, Battlefleet Gothic uh, uh, Blood Angel Fleet from Siege, uh, it's not Siege Studios, I don't know what's the name, uh, I have some uh, Blood Angel tanks for Epic I need to do, I started my, uh, finishing my Battlefleet Gothic in, uh, Iron Warrior Fleet, so I only have two cap three capital ships to do. Uh, have a Spartan for the Iron Warrior that I assembled. Have a bunch of characters and models for a client in Ireland again. Then I uh, managed to assemble some of mine and 3D print another uh, Chaos Cultist unit. Uh, Gallo Soul Shackle I just managed to assemble. Blood Hunt, the others I managed to assemble except the terrain. Then for Titanicus that I'm ne finishing finally is uh, Legio Procedures with a bunch of titans and a bunch of extra weapons. So I managed to start slowly finishing up. Could be next week finished if I manage to organize myself. And while doing that I'm also doing my uh, Legio Astorum. Then I have uh, terrain for boarding patrols that big big ass box five kilograms of terrain so I'm assembling that also cleaning it that's a commission for Canada uh, and yeah Adam brought me like shit ton of the Horus Heresy stuff like in, for Alpha Legion that he's planning to do and I don't know arrow hands so that's it uh, privately, uh, adoption is going well. The girls, the second, this will be the third weekend. They're coming over. They're happy. They're saying they're good. They enjoy spending time with us. So possibility that is after school, so in a month or so, uh, they will come permanently to our home. That's it. Then I'll be able to share some more information with you guys about them. And that's it. Hope I wasn't uh, too annoying today. I think. I don't know. <laughs> so let's go to the table. Let me show you fast what's been done. And <laughs> what I've been talking about. A full table again of crap. So these are the world bearers. Won't focus too much. So there's like four, uh, two characters. Apothecary. Uh, uh, not uh, Lorgar, two rhinos, uh, 12 Gardon, I think, uh, 80 tacticals, 20 Ashen Circle, 5 Phobos Terminators, 10 Gal Warbler that I need to convert some of them to, so they look good. There's like a Possessed Contemptor, a Contemptor, a Leviathan. And this is all the characters I need to do. So Horus ascended. I don't know. There's a lot of here sh shit. Uh, there's also tanks here. I need to do the Blood Angel fleet. I was talking about the Iron Warrior fleet. Iron Warrior Spartan. Great unclean one. A Sikaran. These are all the boarding patrol terrain. I have another box I need to clip off you can see it here uh, blood hunt terrain uh, soul shackle terrain I need to do for myself then we have soul shackle miniatures and additional terrain the 3d printed uh, from station for some cultists more war cry and the Titanicus that I'm working on. Small amount. And the additional that I'm working on the side. 
more chorus heresy that I have disassembled from Spruce and added here. There's some Titanicus for Ireland. They're going to be Fire Wasps. And what else? That's it. I think there's something on the sides. Ah, haven't shown you. We have the Warhound here. And this is all commissions I have. This is all part of some of the commissions I have. This is uh, Soul Shack or something like that. This is different terrain. And that's it. Leave a comment below, tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. <sighs> Hit the bell button to get notification, upload a new video. And thank you for watching. And stay grumpy.